there have been a lot of bad swamps and you know mangrove jungles and stuff over the years but um do you know what I, I love the fact there's such a strong link between survival and life bear grills is known around the world as an outdoor adventurer survivalist and the star of discovery channels man vs wild before becoming a celebrity he served three years with the elite british special air service or sas where he honed his survival skills but most are unaware of his deep love for God. I always had a really natural faith as a kid where I just kind of knew God existed and it felt very free and pretty wild and natural and it wasn't religious. But then I went to school and suddenly I kind of, it all became much more religious and I kind of thought, oh, I don't like this. And it was all about church going and people telling you not to smoke behind the bike shed when you're age 12. I thought, oh, you know, if that's God, maybe I've got the whole kind of deal wrong. And I kind of ditched my faith. Bear grew up on the Isle of Wight in England. He has always had a close-knit family, and he added a lot of friends along the way. In his newly released autobiography, Mud, Sweat and Tears, Bear explains how a death of a close friend brought him back to his faith. I think age about 16, I lost my um, godfather, who was like my second father to me, who lived with us and was, we were super close, and totally out of the blue, and it was a real shock to me, and I remember just, I mean, wanting to pray but not knowing how to. And I remember sitting up this tree and it's saying a very simple prayer that said, you know, if, will you be that friend to me that you were when I was like five and six and it felt natural. Amen. And that was actually the prayer of, of finding a faith. And I think for life now, it's still a continuing journey of not letting too much of the religious stuff and the kind of, you know, cloud the heart of faith that is very simple. It's about being loved, it's about being forgiven, it's about finding home. And those are great things that all of us need. Bear's faith has grown along with his thirst for adventure. At 23, he became one of the youngest people ever to scale Mount Everest. He relied on prayer and scripture throughout the dangerous and potentially deadly climb. It's what I've always loved. It's what I've loved about high mountains, that it requires something more than just the physical. You know, my faith was, as you say, a real quiet kind of strength and like a backbone that sustained me a lot during those times where you're at your wit's end and you have nothing more to give. Bear has had many more adventures since Everest and his relationship with God has carried him through them all. You know, the journey has been that faith has been the wildest ride and, you know, Jesus, the heart of the Christian faith, was the wildest, most, you know, radical guy you'd ever come across you know he was always hanging out with the prostitutes and the tax collectors and having parties and banquets and I found myself drawn to that character just not the kind of fluff that we like to box as like religion I always get asked by kind of people difficult religious questions or whatever and I just go do you know what sometimes I don't know I don't know but I know I'm loved you know and, and that's the heart of Christianity and that can be a lifetime journey to wade through all of the kind of you know stuff to get to that. Well, the thing is the whole, you know, everyone wants adventure and it's great, you know. I hang out the whole time with kids and young scouts and I never meet kids who don't want adventure. But life kind of tells us you've got to be more sensible and you've got to do that. And we kind of grow out of our kids' selves and life is a journey about not growing out of it, really. Um, but the thing is you don't have to climb Everest or the adventures don't have to be super extreme for you to get the heart of what adventure is about. And for me, adventure has always been about the connection and the bonds you create with people when you're there. And you can have that anywhere. You know, I take my kids on loads of adventures where we totally get that. And the joy for me is like climbing a little kind of thing, you know, 50 foot high, it's nice and not too steep. And I do it with my eight year old and we take a flask of tea and sit on a ledge halfway up and have some tea. And it's like, you know, that's adventure and the magic of adventure right there in a nutshell. Bear and his wife Shara are the parents of three energetic boys. So when he is done with his dirty work of survival, he is home. In the field, whether he is jumping from a great height or buried up to his neck, Bear has learned the hard lessons of faith. I think kind of my faith through that journey has been an important thing. I found it hard to talk about for a long time. Uh, but I think now I look back and I realise it, you know, it takes a proud man to say he never needs any help. And I'm not that man now. And, I love that great verse from the message that says, you know, where you're blessed when you're at the end of your rope. With less of you, there's more of God.